Hi, I'm Tony with Timeless Cottage Gifts, and I want to show you how I painted the Dollar Tree acorn. They come, oops, they look like this, and you can turn them into something like this. This is an ornament I'm making for a swap with BB's Crafty Peeps. This is one of the ornaments. Um, so I'll show you how I painted these. I'm I'm a novice painter, so I'm going to do my best at this. So what I did was I took the multi-purpose sealer, and this color is fawn, and I mixed them together, and I painted them, then put another coat of just the fawn, and sanded it. I got this sander from, this one's from Walmart. I like the little ones. And then you can just sand them and make it very smooth. So here's my acorn. And what I'm going to do is take the, this is a Bowen chalk pencil. So I am going to, hopefully I'll stay in the shot. Make a little cap. Right there. Okay. And then I'm going to take this part and paint it milk chocolate. I have a three quarter inch angle shader. I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. This is the master's touch. Let me dry that a little bit before I shade. I'm gonna take my dark, this one is asphaltum. Uh, let's see. It's a pretty dark brown and I want a big, shade on this so I'm going to take it here and down here Let me dry that. I can make that a little darker on the bottom. Ooh, too much water. Have to pinch out some of the water, okay. And back up here again. What I did was trace this acorn right here onto uh, paper, and then I drew X's on it. So I copied it onto vellum, and now I'm going to transfer it using my transfer paper, and just to make the X's. So, Make sure I got in the shot, okay. And so all the X's are like right here. This is the first side of the X's.
And there are my X's. You see? Okay. Right here, I don't want any of the, the line showing. So I'm going to erase it. All the graphite lines. And I'm going to take a my little liner brush. This is a epic script liner by Chris Hoy. And it is epic. She is right about that. So I'm going to take the asphaltum and water it down just a little bit. And, and rinse off my brush and then wipe it off so it's dry in the ferrule. And now I'm going to roll it in and I'm going to draw the lines. I want to make sure my head doesn't get in there with my brush. All right, not perfect, but they're on there. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more time to dry and I'm gonna put my angle shader back in the asphaltum. Make sure. And I'm gonna go into right here on the sides. I'm standing up doing this it's like okay. all right that should do now on here I'm going to take I think I'm gonna take this brush here and I'm going to shade the lines. So this line here, I'm going to shade it with milk chocolate. This line, milk chocolate. Just to get some color up there. And dry that, and now uh, the opposite side, right there, there. And now I'm going to dry this. Let's do another this right here. Try and see if I can fix that. There's a little spot right there I don't really like. There. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my brush, my angle brush, and I'm going to take some light mocha and I'm going to make little dots. Well, not really dots, but like, 
I'm going to shade in. Can you see right here? Let's see. I'm going to shade in, yeah, like little tiny C strokes, kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to take them and fit them in, like up by the little diamonds up there. Kind of tapping these. Because we're going to shave those anyways. Okay. I'm going to dry it. And I'm going to take the asphalt from again. <clears throat> and I'm going to shade it with my smaller angle. This one's a three. What is this? This one's a three. This, oh, sorry. <laughs> this one's a three eighths. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to go around the sides here. And around the sides here, bring it in a little bit. And then around here, on the top. I'm gonna make the stem, I kind of shade that side of the stem too. Bring it over a little bit. And just kind of bring it out. and bring it out. Now we're almost done. It's a really quick paint. Dry it off. And I'm going to take a dry brush. I really like these. This one's wet though. This one's not, not too wet. Are these Dynasty dry brushes? They're my favorite as a dry brush. I also like the Joe Sonia. Those are good too. I, I always grab these for some reason. Okay, now I'm going to dip it into the, get a dryer towel. Dip it into the mocha. You know what, I'm gonna dip it into the white. The Snow White. and get some on my brush and get almost all of it out. Now I'm going to take it and go up and down. I'm gonna try not to get in here. And give it a highlight. Right in the center. Got an awful lot on, okay. 
and then one right here. And right here. So you got this highlight right in the middle of it. And this highlight right here. Kind of curve it a little bit. And then I take burnt sienna. I'm gonna dry this first. I'm gonna take burnt sienna. And I'm going to get it super watery. Take this brush. Get it in my, onto my palette, which is my paper plate. A lot of water. Because I want this transparent. I just want a hint of this reddish brown on this. I think this will do. And then go right over the acorn. There's your acorn. That's how quick and easy it is. If you want, you can go back and hi highlight these in the middle a little bit more with the white. And you can highlight the center. Oops. And you can highlight the center a little more too with your dry brush to make it look. I'm gonna go with my white. And just do a few right here. Everywhere. And if you feel like you got too much white, just go back into your burnt sienna. Watery. And just go over it again. Now, what I did was I took one of these leaves and I can do another video on how I painted the leaves and I took like ribbon. Oh, I took ribbon. I think I got these over at, this could be Dollar Tree. This one I think is Dollar Tree. Just this ribbon here. What is it? Kind of like a, a burlap looking ribbon, but it has some gold in it. And just two of these, uh, one of each, one green, one orange, the checked or plaid. And I took, in this pack, <clears throat> there's this twine right here. And that's what I, that's what I tied it with. And then I'm going to stick it right here and put my leave there. Now, how I got the leaves was, let's see. <clears throat> I got the leaves. I have a pack of them. And I'll just take this. Let me get a yellow one. This one already has, well, I'll just do this side so you can see. It's already yellow. So I can take my green. I have this Hauser light green. This one's easily found in Hobby Lobby. And you can dry brush the green on. 
I usually put the green in the middle. Or you can put it like in any, you know, anywhere you want. You can even do this with ink. It's easy to do the ink too. These are just the colors I want. So I got that and the gold's already there. So I'm gonna take some tiger lily. It's just an orangish red. No, reddish orange, there's more red. And do the tips. So rub it out there and put some tips. Try and keep the gold. And if it doesn't show up enough, or as much as I want it to, I can also take my angle shader and right here, just go around it. This is just to get some color in the leaf to make it look like an autumn leaf. And if you want more yellow, you could put more yellow on. This I have is golden straw, but you could take any yellow that you want. There's golden sunset, that's really pretty. I'm gonna take my other dry brush and I'll just move it into the red. It's really that easy. It's however, whatever color you want to make it. And I mean, you could even do burnt sienna on the tips too, to make it more brown. And these, I can't remember if I told you, but they came from Hobby Lobby. I believe they came from the Hobby Lobby. They probably have them at the Dollar Tree. They're in, a, they come with a bunch of leaves and a little uh, square container, box container. And just remember to, just remember to burn your edges here, here and here, so they don't fray, unless you want them to fray. And then I'm going to glue it. That's not my one, that's the one I used. And I'm going to glue it, is that the one I used? No, this is the one I used, whoops get it mixed up okay and here. right here here I usually take this and tie but be really careful if you tie tightly it could break that little stem off just glue it on and tie it loosely and like I said I've, I've made a number of these she said that we have to have the sentiment on it so that's why these say hello fall I made some for the swap. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.